Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about the new Batman movie. I know I already talked about it in my last video, which was, I believe, talking about whether I wanted a Red Hood movie or an Arkham Asylum movie. And so today I'm talking about what about the sidekicks? Where more so Nightwing and Robin? What do I want from them in the movie? Well, first off, Nightwing, if I had to choose between one of them, I'd definitely choose Nightwing because I think he is the best Robin overall. He's not my favorite Robin, but he's the best Robin and probably the most successful Robin. And he was the heir to the cowl. He became Batman. He became a true Batman, unlike Jason Todd, who became a gun-toning Batman. And then you have Tim Drake, who, like, got stabbed in the chest by Jason Todd when he became Batman. And he's, he's such an important character to Batman's life because he kind of lightened up Batman's mood in the uh, comic books. Because uh, he was such a cheery person, and he, like, brought in the Robin identity. And he's just such a great character. He'd add something new to the uh, Batman movies. Like, he'd be... He'd be throwing jokes around, like, Spider-Man, uh, while Batman's just brooding and killing people. And, like, throwing big crates at him at their heads or whatever. And, now, Robin, for Robin, I want Tim Drake, uh, the third Robin, as, as Robin. Um, I believe, I think the actor's name is, like, Ryan Potter. He, like, g uh, um, sent this video to Ben Affleck of him, like, doing these cool ninja flips and stunts. And he was like, I want to be Robin. And I'm like, that guy looks like a Tim Drake. He does look like a Tim Drake. And Tim, he's my favorite Robin because, like, I, I, I'm growing, I'm, I grew up with uh, Tim Drake Robin. And when I was little and I read, like, the little I can read books, like, it always said Dick Grayson was Nightwing, Bat Bruce Wayne was Batman, and Tim Drake was Robin. And he, he's just always been such an, like, a, a cool Robin. He's more of, like, the te technical Robin. He's not like the, he's not like Jason Todd where he just wants to be beat the crap out of everyone. He's... More, like, he takes the fight from a different perspective. And, like, he had his own spinoff series. I think he might have been the only Robin with a spinoff series, but I could be. Oh, and, well, now you have Damien, but I think back in the 90s he got his own spinoff series. And uh, in the 90s, I believe, he helped, like, he helped with, like, real-world problems in the comic books. Like, he helped with, uh, uh, I believe he, like, helped uh, stuff like teen pregnancy and, you know, uh, stuff like that in the comics. And he... he he was a, also a big impact on Batman's life because he was the third Robin and Batman was reluctant to take him in, but he was, he was also a successful Robin going on to be Red Robin, and he's just, he's just so cool, and I like his attitude, too. He's very, like, I can't really find a word to describe it, but, like, like a toned-down Nightwing. So he's basically quippy sometimes, but not that, not that quippy. And he's he I believe him and him and Dick Grayson are the two most uh depend independent uh Robins. And we didn't get to see him in stuff like uh, Son of Batman, which he was in, the animated movie which he was in. And I just really want to see um that connection between Bruce and Tim Drake, like them, like just ch like Batman being like, I don't want you to join because I already lost Robin, and, and you know him proving that he can be a successful Robin. And Nightwing, I want to see him and Batman's like uh connection there because I want to see him talk and. Like, you know, like I said earlier, him being all cheery and Batman being all grumpy. And uh, I hope this Nightwing is like, I heard some, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think Nightwing is, should be like a, a like he's distant from Batman. Like say, um, uh, maybe he did something, or he might not approve of Batman's killing, so that's why he left and became Nightwing, which I, I think is so awesome. That reminds me of the animated series, the, uh, Old Wounds episode where uh, Nightwing and Tim are talking on the rooftops and Tim is like, I didn't, uh, I quit being Robin because Bruce lied to me and told me that, uh, and didn't tell me that Barbara was Batgirl. Or, so, or it might have been something else, but I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. But yeah, that, that was a cool episode, except uh, I don't want it to be based off the animated series, uh, Tim Drake Robin, because he was more of a hybrid of, uh, t he was more of a Jason Todd, but like, Kid friendlier version, version of uh, Tim Drake like uh, or of, he's basically a kid friendly version of Jason Todd as in like he didn't go like beating everyone he saw or accidentally or accidentally I'm moving my fingers right now and like you know that like sarcastic way uh, pushing a guy off the uh, what walkway or something and like this Tim Drake is uh, snarky in the American series like he's very. Uh, Rude, for better lack of words. Like Nightwing, basically. And Nightwing wasn't that great in the anime series. He wasn't that he wasn't there that much, but he he was still a cool character. He kinda left the impression of whiny off to me. 
But, like, good, good versions of Nightwing, I would say, are, like, the Nightwing Rebirth comics right now. Um, the uh, Ishma Hawk uh, Nightwing animated, not animated, uh, Nightwing series. It was live action, fan, uh, fan made uh, TV show. Like that was on, it's on YouTube. It's it's so cool. Like it's just so cool. Like it shows uh it's it shows like Dick and Babs' relationship. I also want to see that. I also want to see Dick Grayson and uh, Barbara Burns interaction. Whether or not like she's Oracle right now. I hope she's Oracle because I really don't care for Batgirl. I think Oracle's way cooler because like I I believe she worked with the Justice League at one point. I could be wrong though, but yeah. And if we do see an Oracle or Barbara Gordon, I do not want Felicity. I hate Felicity. She's so, she's the worst, like, TV show character other than Grant Gustin's Flash. It's just, ugh, I hate her so much. Like, so, ugh. So, yeah, that would be so cool and seeing the whole Bat Family connect. Uh, maybe in, like, the following movie or so, you could see Robin become uh, Red Robin and see him take his path on to that road of being independent. Or, I think Nightwing would play a big role in the Under the Red Hood movie, and so would Tim Drake Robin, because, you know, uh, maybe part of, uh, Jason Todd's whole reason for, like, uh, one of the reasons for hating on Batman is for replacing him, just like in, uh, Batman Arkham Knight, now that wasn't a, it, that game had a crappy story, but, like, one of, but still, that, that was, it was, a, it's a good example of that for why Jason Todd was mad, and there's Nightwing, who's, like, reluctant to, like, be with Batman, because he killed in the past. I don't, I don't know if that's how their relationship is, but, um, yeah. But, like, at the end of the movie, he'll work in Gotham, and, like, he'll start working in Gotham more often. And I do want my, uh, or, not my own. I do want, uh, Nightwing, I do want Nightwing to have a solo movie. That'd be so awesome, because Nightwing is, one, like, if I had to make a top ten list of DC characters... Nightwing being on that list because he's so charming and like I remember in one comic it said he was like the handsomest man in the DC universe and I'm like what like he's I think he's been with almost every DC character it's like he's such a player seriously and he he became Batman like Grant Morrison made him the most OP Batman but uh he he was still a pretty cool Batman with his uh relation the flip flopping relationship between him and Damian like you have Damian who's like or we have Robin who's supposed to be bright and cheery and Batman's supposed to be dark and moody. Moody and Damian Wayne is dark and moody, and Dick Grayson is uh, uh, happy and bright. And so that's what's great about the Batman Reborn series. And it did bring in some creepy villains, though. And I do, um, maybe because Tim Drake fought Anarchy, or in the comics, I believe, for like a while, I think it'd be cool to have an Easter egg or something like that. Maybe at the beginning of the movie, him and Batman are fighting Anarchy. And, like, Robin could be talking about how he was tracking him. I don't know. That'd be, that'd be just be so cool in my head. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.